This video is about untreated gallstones if they are left for a long period of time uh, without having an operation. Now this might be a patient choice or it may be unavailability of the operation or it may be that the patient is not fit to have an operation. Before I get into that, let's look at the anatomy. Um, this is the liver. The liver has two tubes coming out that form a single tube and connected to this tube is the gallbladder which is a sac-like organ. And the function of the gallbladder is to concentrate and store the bile. So the arrows here indicate the direction of the bile. So the bile tube comes down and goes through the pancreas. So let's look at this picture. This is the same, uh, there's a bit of a cutout now. Uh, gallbladder with gallstones. And let's see when these cause symptoms and when not and what to do. Going back to our original question, untreated gallstones, are they dangerous? So if gallstones do not cause any symptoms at all, I think there is now very good evidence that there is no treatment required uh, if the gallstones do not cause any symptoms whatsoever. So what if they do cause symptoms? So then that is divided into two, uh, those that are uncomplicated and those that are complicated. What does that mean? Uncomplicated is just simple colicky pain that happens every now and then, catches you unaware and then settles down. Um, let's look into this group a bit further. Uncomplicated recurrent uh, pain uh, which responds to treatment. So there was a very interesting randomized trial in Sweden recently which randomized the uncomplicated group into early surgery or observation only. And what they found was that it was safe to observe. However, those in the observation group over a period of three to five years, uh, just about less than half of them needed um, surgery. So it's safe to observe, but with a small caveat that over a period of time, uh, the symptoms may then progress. So as surgery is required, so that is a take home message from that. What about complicated? That means that it, if gallstones lead to an infection, such as in the gallbladder itself or in the bile because a gallstone has slipped out, or if there is pancreatitis where a gallstone slips out and arrives at this part and then sets off inflammation in the pancreas, uh, pancreatitis, then this group needs early surgery. Uh, this you shouldn't wait uh, around because they are much more at risk, this group. So finally, is gallbladder cancer associated with gallstones? Yes, but it is a low risk. It is low risk of cancer and this isn't reason enough uh, if patients do not have symptoms to offer them a cholecystectomy. Pat said that patients with a condition called primary sclerosing cholangitis and those with gallbladder polyps and gallstones must have their gallbladders removed because of the risk of future malignancy. Um, this culminates our topic today. Um, I hope this was useful. Please do leave comments.